Hey guys, I just wanted to show you my AR-15s. And yes, there was an S on the end of that. Uh, I bought an AR-15 rifle um, from Palmetto State Armory. You see, it's got the sights on it. And you just, you know, hold it up like this. And you look through the sights. And you fire like that. And this, this is a range gun. It's for... Um, target practice. It's for fun. You know, just fun target practice. Got the collapsible stock on it to where it can go short or it can go out like like I like it. Um, I took and I installed a vertical grip on Now, vertical grips, I know right now I'm holding it like this, and you can, you can hold it like this, but if you take your thumb and put it on top and hold the vertical grip like this, You've got a little hand stop. I'll move that back so you can see. You got a little hand stop right there, and this this makes it really comfortable. So this is how I hold it, and it helps you hold it steady. And then you look down the sights. Um, you see, I took the other side. I took enamel, and I did the lettering on the enamel. But this is all Palmetto State, and I'll take it apart for you real fast to show you. But I bought it in two parts, and you just install your own uh, charging handle and your own bolt carrier group if you don't have them. But I bought it in two parts and just put it together. And you see, this is the lower. When you hear of an AR-15 lower, this is it, minus a magazine, of course. And this is the upper. Now, I installed the muzzle brake, and this is a Strike Industries J-Comp muzzle brake. And it is uh, it reduces the recoil to almost zero. I mean, my eight-year-old daughter can fire the thing and have no problem. So the recoil... It's like shooting a 22 rifle, but you're shooting a 223. And see, it's back together again that easily. But that's my rifle. So I bought this, paid about $500 for it with everything included, and take it out to the range and go shooting and just have fun with friends. And that, that was the only only reason I got it. And then I thought, well, I may want one for deer hunting. So I built this one. Um, you see it says goes boom on it. On the other side, I'll cover up my name, but it says built by me in the Magen David, the Star of David on there. My shells in it. Drops down to goes boom. You got the scope, 1.5 to 4 times magnification, good for 100, 150 yards. If you get, it's, uh, it's 300 blackout. If you get the Barnes Vortex ammo for it, you can kill a deer at 100, 150 yards, which is why the scope is on there. Now, it's got a sling, a single point sling on the back. You see, I, I've got to where it can hold sling a sling in the back. Um, the scope, the handguard is an arrow precision handguard. Um, on this one, I found out that if you hold it like this, like I was holding the rifle and you put it up here and hold it up, you can do that. But holding that magwell seems to be a lot more sturdy. So hold that mag well and hold it. Now you see how I'm holding it as a cheek well. Now some people want to hold it like that against their shoulder. And you can do that. Uh, but my thing is if you're going to do that consistently, this isn't comfortable enough. It's not. Uh, if you're going to do that consistently, it might be worth the $200 just to be able to put a normal stock on this thing. I'm serious. Um, 
you know, the $200 tax stamp. But this is a pistol. Uh, you see the handle is almost straight up and down. And I did that so I could hold it in close. And it, you know, it feels comfortable. I got a local company. I got the lower from them. So I was able to do the enamel like I did on my other rifle, on my rifle. But look how pretty that is. You've got the bird and the, everything showing up so well. I mean, it's beautiful. So this is a thousand dollar rifle. I got some of the parts on sale, you know, half off sales. But if you were to put it together, the muzzle brake is a VG6 Gamma, and it doesn't help a lot with recoil, sad to say. Um, if I had to do it over again, I'd probably get another muzzle brake. I may end up getting another and just find one that helps with recoil more. But this is a pistol. It's able to hunt deer. <laughs> A hundred, hundred and fifty yards. Now, as far as ammo for this thing, this is your regular AR-15 round, and you see, that's it, little bitty tip. That's what's actually shooting. Um, this is what the pistol shoots. It's called the 300 blackout, and you see the tip actually starts way back here. So the tip is actually a lot bigger than the other. And uh, I'm, I've got a situation where the pistol is more powerful than, and more lethal than the rifle. Um, but this one has a use um, other than target practice, which I did take out target practicing today. And I will target practice with it, but the ammo is a little bit more expensive. But uh, this one you can shoot at 100 yards easy. Um, you know, the other one you can shoot at 100 yards fine, but you're not killing a deer at 100 yards with it. This one you will. Um, but the other one's iron sights for fun with friends. This one has a purpose. But you can also go out and shoot with friends and have fun. But I just wanted to show off my two AR-15s. Um, like I said, I built this one from parts. Um, nothing in here came assembled. Um, I was dealing with little bitty parts. Every single piece of it I put into it. I can you know, I know where the springs are for the trigger, the detents, um, the little detent that makes the safety lock into place. I know where all of that is uh, because I took and did every little part. Uh, it took me about three months to build, mainly because I bought a couple of parts when I could afford it. And then next payday, I got another part or two. And that's how I uh, built it, is little by little by little. Uh, my daughter helped me build it. You know, we made a fun family project out of it, like uh, in the old days when your dad used to take you out there to build the car. And we built a pistol. Unfortunately, it's got too much recoil for her to shoot. Um, but we, we can say, we can point at it and say, we built this together. So that's, you know, that's important to, you know, to share that with your children. Um, and some people might be like, oh, guns, guns, you know, uh, you know, whatever. But, um, uh, I grew up with them. I mean, there's never been a time in my life where I didn't have guns or, you know, wasn't around guns. And I, I can't, I can't get into that mentality of being afraid of them. I mean, they, they have the potential to be dangerous. So does a car. So does a motorcycle. 
um, you know, an ATV especially. All these different things, you know, even a lake. But if you know how to be responsible and you keep your wits about you and you think about responsibility, like, um, you know, for instance, even now, it is completely unloaded. Uh, there is not a shell in here. You know, nothing whatsoever. But if I turn this around, you see it's selected safe. It's on the safety is engaged. Um, always treat your guns like they're loaded. Because the one time you don't, is the one time there's a round in here and you end up shooting through the wall, you end up shooting a family member or something like this. Uh, you know, it's even opened up so you can see that there is no round in there. But the safety is still on. I don't care, you know, how much you think it's unloaded. You treat it like it's loaded. There are plenty of safety issues. Uh, and you, there's no compromise. You do not compromise on them. Um, and I grew up with this mentality. You know, and um, I mean, nobody in my family's ever been shot or yeah, even though some of them may have deserved it, <laughs> nobody, nobody's ever been shot or anything. Um, as far as shooting this thing, though, I mean, it's sweet. It's it's fun, and both of the guns are fun. And if I go out shooting with friends, I might take one. I might take the other. I might take both of them. But you know, they're just fun to go out and shoot and you shoot at the little target and you shoot at the little red dot and you try and do better than your friends and such as that and I mean, it's a relaxing afternoon and you know there are a lot of worse ways you could spend a weekend I mean but to me this is like golf I mean it really is you just put 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 and uh, just relax and enjoy yourself with friends. I mean, you can even go out by yourself and there's something zen about it. Just, you know, shoot at the target, see where you hit. Shoot at the target, see where you hit. And just, you know, time after time after time with only one goal in mind, and that's shooting the bullseye. Yeah. But anyway... Um, I used to be an AK-47 guy. Uh, some of you know I had the Egyptian Mahdi, uh, which was the AK-47. Um, these seem more accurate than the AK-47 did. Uh, they're certainly, certainly more configurable. Um, if I had a choice in a self-defense situation, between this and the AK-47, I'd pick the pistol um, simply because it is a pistol. Um, but if it's inside, then I'd pick neither one of them because as soon as you fire this thing, you're going deaf. Uh, especially with a muzzle brake on, it's really loud. Uh, these can hold suppressors screw in the suppressor, shoot subsonic ammo through it, and you almost can't hear anything. Uh, the people that are attacking the California senator for saying that they go silent, uh, they're being dishonest. Because if you take uh, this thing and you replace the springs and you shoot subsonic ammo through it, uh, all you're hearing is that bolt click. And I, I, the, those people are being dishonest. That's all I'm saying. But 
Anyway, this is my pistol. That was my rifle. And I hope you enjoyed.